Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have another problem for you from McClave and my stent lab. This is problem 7.5.63. Let's read the problem and see if we can parse what the problem is asking us to do. The problem says that the max allowable mean level of a toxin in smelters where the toxin is used is 0 0.005 milligrams per cubic meter of air. Suppose smelters at two plants are being investigated to determine whether they're meeting the standards. Two analysis of the air are made. That's a small sample. And the results are shown below. A claim is made that the standard is being violated at plant two, but not at plant one. Do you agree? And we have given an alpha of 0.1. Well, this looks like a small sample test for a mean, but we have two means. So we have to run the test twice in order to answer this question. We're given this data. At plant one, we have two observations. Again, that's much less than 30. And we're given the toxin level in those two observations. And then at plant two, we have two observations, n equal two and the levels for that plant. The first thing we need to do is to determine the null and the alternative hypotheses for both plants. For plant one, and I think also for plant two, the null and the alternatives would be similar. And we're saying that, again, the null is always no different, or in this case, that the mean from plant one toxin level is equal to or less than 0 0.005 and the alternative is that the mean is greater than that use of zero of 0 0.005. Okay, I brought up StatCrunch and remember in my stat lab, if you've got the little icon there, this little rectangular icon, you can click on that and open the data into StatCrunch. And that's what I've done here. And as usual, we want to start at the stat. That's where most of our procedures are going to be found. So stat, this is a T stat because it's a small sample. We've got one sample, and this time we've got data. And we bring up this dialog box, and we need to fill it out. Our data is in the plant one. So I'm going to click on that to load it into the right box. And then we want to set up the hypothesis, and the null is 0 0.005, and our alternative is greater than. So now that we've got it set up, we just click on Compute, and we get our results. And it shows for our one sample T hypothesis test, with the null of mu equal 0 0.005, and the alternative that it is greater than 0 0.005. We've got a T test statistic of 2.33 and a P value of 0.1289 or 0.129. And that is much greater than our alpha of 0.1. Therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now let's run the second analysis. And again, we go to stat, T stats, one sample with data. This time we're going to select the plant two data, get it into the right box. And again, our null is 0 0.005 and our alternative is greater than that. And we click on compute and we get our results this time. Um, a T stat of 14 and a P value of 0 0.023, which is much less than our alpha of 0.1. Therefore, this time we reject the null hypothesis. To wrap this problem up, the plant one, we failed to reject the null that the plant one toxin level was equal to 0 0.005 because its P value was greater than 0.1 for alpha. And we did reject for plant two that the toxin level was equal to 0.5. We're saying that the toxin level the mean for plant two was greater than 0.5. Therefore, our conclusion is we agree there is sufficient evidence to support the claim 
that plant two is in violation, but plant one is not in violation. I hope this helps.